So a quick disclaimer before we get into this video. Uh, this video is basing off from this trend and my mother doesn't watch a lot of VTubers. So if anything she says that doesn't align with what you think or your opinion about the character, just keep that in mind. She doesn't watch VTubers. Of course, again, if you want more information as to why I'm doing this, you can read the comment section, the pinned comment, and also the description. So yeah, keep that in mind. Be nice in the comment section, all those kind of stuff. And let's get on with the video. I mean, I already showed you this before, right? This girl, I don't know if you remember her name, the English while playing Mario. I don't remember the name. It's fine. Their name wasn't even there mentioned. So yeah. you don't have to get guess the right name. It's fine. You can give... So what can I say if I want to guess that? The brown hair? The no, no, hair? no. It's not oh, get there. Just uh, give them name, inventive name. I'll tell you if they're Japanese or English or... And then you can just, you know, base off from whatever you think. You can give okay. them name. So pink, yellow, brown. No, that's not yet. Yeah, that's just oh. the intro. <laughs> so the first one is this one. Bugs Bunny? Bugs <laughs> She's a she's Japanese, so most of her her name would sound like Japanese. Um okay. so her name would be I don't know, I don't have a clue what her name is. I'm just gonna guess her name. I can just invent idea yeah, of yeah, her name. Yeah. Well, I um carrot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she does love carrots. Carrots, that's her final answer? Yes. Okay. Her name is Usada Pecora. Oh. It's a. I, I looked it up. It means a field and then a rabbit. Usada oh, means it's a rabbit. Oh, right. It's yeah. Bugs Bunny, right? <laughs> oh. okay. uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> she does act like Bugs Bunny, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A pretty little bunny. <laughs> no, you don't have comments about how she looks like? Um, <laughs> she looks like yeah she looks like a pretty little bunny she looks um like another character from where from sailor moon <laughs> yeah she does well most japanese uh, yeah. style does look the same because they formulated yeah. the, the perfect face <laughs> this one next one is this oh what could be her name Than that you can just give them your inventive name <laughs> um sporty yeah sporty she's sporty so that's her name oh that's her but name i'm gonna call her sporty <laughs> sporty you, that's your final yes well you got the first letter right which is subaru which is sporty yes no subaru sporty s subaru. Ah. so that's her last name ah. ozara and so most people call her subaru so uh just a quick run she's she debuted as like a sport manager of some sort uh, of club. but then eventually people keeps calling her uh duck because of her voice she sounds like donald duck oh. and <laughs> because the other you mentioned yeah bugs bunny uh when they play together and when they're together it's ah. they're like Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny and people are like this is the anime version. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the new generation. Yeah. So what do you think? Does uh, her outfit seems like? Um. It's very trendy. It's. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's, it's so colorful. Mm -hmm. It's like the tomboyish <laughs> yes i did notice that but i didn't yeah. want to say that no it's fine that, that oh, okay. term now is fine in our <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah she does look uh um, yeah. uh yeah boyish yeah next is this one the one that you know <laughs> uh, i don't know i don't remember her name you do know that she's a, a dog <laughs> apparently so mm -hmm. you can give a dog pet name well, if you have a dog, that uh, <laughs> what would you think? have this dog? A poodle. Yeah, yeah, poodle. Yeah. Um, or bubbly. Bubbly. You yeah. Name her bubbly. Yeah. Japanese bubbly. I don't know any word in Japan. So. You watched Inuyasha. <laughs> no. Yeah, her name is Inogami Korone. 
Okay. Ino gami ino part is mean dog. So okay. and then gami it's like um short version of god of some mm. sort so she's like a god dog apparently or something. But oh. yeah, so she's uh, 90 years 92 years old. <laughs> ah. I mean I wrote I had this there so yeah. What what do you think about like um, her outfit? She's uh she's like not anymore a girl but she's also not an adult the way she dressed is like um not a teenager anymore mm -hmm. she dressed um uh, nice um and she her outfit is nice like uh, it has a bit of a not boyish not girlish but like uh, a bit uh uh, mature, you... not too mature, but mm. lady, lady. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. This one. Uh, next is the cat. <laughs> they have a dog oh. and they have a cat. <laughs> mm. What would be her name? Yeah, name the uh, cat. <laughs> if she's a cat, I'll probably call her, call her Snow. Snow. Oh, yeah. that's that's cute. <laughs> yeah. Her name is Nekomata Okayu. Yeah, you you said it correctly. <laughs> yeah, Nekomata. Neko means again the same uh, thing. So it's cat. Neko cat. Oh. Okay. This uh, one it's more um, the way she's dressed. I think she's still figuring out what would be her style. Mm. But um, she have her own style. But I think she's. In that age where she's still figuring out what <laughs> you know either she could wear like more of a boyish outfit or okay. more into a, a girly outfit mm. can you can you think or imagine what the relationship would be the dog and the cat mm. well cat and dog they always fight <laughs> if they don't fight they're so close so it's either actually they're really close like they're close friends ah okay <laughs> like before they got into this uh, they're uh they already know each other okay next is boys we have boys too <laughs> oh okay so this still what... in the same uh company they're still in the same group but yeah uh, so it's still japanese i would uh i would call him smooth smooth yeah he's um friendly he's italian you can okay. give him Italian Italian name? Yeah. Oh, I'm still gonna call him smooth. <laughs> I don't know what's the word smooth in Italian, but that's how I see him. <laughs> smooth. Like smooth talker, mm -hmm. like uh, you know, suave or uh, you know, James like Bond that. is yeah. 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 His name is Aruran Desu. And he doesn't have a second name apparently. So it's just most people call him Aruran. He likes pizza a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, next is the same group. They're the same group. Okay, this one. Uh, two. Uh, his name. His name. Um. Oh, this is a boy. Yeah. Boy. Male. Yes, okay. So. <laughs> um. What do you What do you think about his hairstyle? Yeah. Well, the first word come up to my mind is flashy. <laughs> Flash like. I guess because of his hair colorful and I think also the way he's dressed it's too um what do you call this um um like um tradition mm. but mix of the new generation and it's rep the representation is flashier than what the tradition look like mm. but in a good way because it's it's more the tradition still there but it's integrated into the new generation style hmm. so, so yeah he has two costumes the one on the right is the the newer one and then the left they they regularly get different looks so he's you... still a boy yeah i i mean like you said you put there his age but he's still a boy <laughs> like he didn't grow up <laughs> what's the name <laughs> Um, if it helps you, he people apparently thinks that he's a alien or something like his backstory is from he's from outer space or something. Yeah, well, I think that I, I would call him flashy. Flashy. Flash, like flashy, like he likes to flash. Um, <laughs> you know, like 
F L A like flashing. <laughs> like if he walks in a room, he wants to show off. Okay. Because he's like a a boy inside, it's like a kid. Mm. It's uh, Astel Lida. I think they were trying to uh, play on the astral, the word astral okay. in a sense. But you know, I get again. This is you don't have to get it right. It's just you know, I want to understand if their design mm -hmm. works uh, and what what would you give the name? So okay, yeah. this is uh, what should I call her? Um... Maybe the... I'll come up with a name later. Maybe I'll describe her first. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's um, that she, she actually doesn't know how to present herself. <laughs> I don't think she knows, or it's just she has so much in her mind. The yeah. way she expresses herself, mm -hmm. it's, uh, she's unpredictable. Yeah, and she's very. Uh, she doesn't care what other people would look at her but she's like okay this is what i feel and i'm gonna express it the way i want <laughs> um she i'll probably call her rogue rogue oh her she's a zombie that's why she looks like ah okay like okay. dilapidated she just walk out of her gravestone apparently <laughs> oh okay so yeah that's why yeah but this is her alternate uh costume so she's more like well put in rather than Okay, so you're you're going with Rogue. Yes, that's the. Her name is it's a uh, it's said in Japan, but I'll just say it in like it's crazy Oli. Oh, okay. so you're right. So I was with, right. Yeah, you're she's right. Unpredictable. With, yeah, unpredictable. Uh, she's in the so before mostly our Japanese group. This is from the Indonesian group. Ah, okay. So when I watch them, I actually pick up some Indonesian word that sounds like our dialect so yeah. yeah next is she's in the same group as the the zombie girl crazy ollie okay. so this one um this one oh this is hard <laughs> she's hard to read <laughs> um she's very reserved mm-hmm she's very before she make her move she's always concerned about her surrounding she takes so much time to make a decision mm -hmm. um what should i call her um um she looks like the kind of person that doesn't want to make mistake which it's unavoidable in life <laughs> but she um i probably call her i don't know all i could think of is excellency because i when i look at her she's like the kind of person that wants excellent every time mm. I, I i'm not reading the yeah, things there. i mean it's too much <laughs> the first yeah. few ones were so like, it's just by the by the way she yeah, looked i'm yeah. just describing what my observation Okay, so excellency. So, yeah, excellency. You're just borrowing words. These are not names. <laughs> I'm well, yeah. You can make. You, I can name it the way I'm, you yeah, know, okay. describing or the way they yeah. present themselves okay. as a character. Okay. This is a uh, again her alternate um, costume. She has a shorter hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think the shorter hair looks better on her? No, the long hair is. You think like okay, so her yeah. name is Pavolia Reine. Okay. Reine, for in in French, it's like uh, Reine means like queen. Mm -hmm. So you were mostly right, but uh, as from the start, she she you you got it right, like how she presents herself. But as soon as she got used to this streaming VTuber thing, she's more like outspoken and mm -hmm. uh, open about her uh, thoughts. Next is this one. This one is English. Mm -hmm. group so yeah yeah her name is would be english uh <laughs> you can you can yeah again i'm not, not japanese <laughs> uh, uh, um... some of them some of them are not some of them do the the conventional names that was shown a while ago but some of them don't so i will call her mystic oh mystique oh yeah because wow. she's she... a dream reaper 
she she portrayed as a mysterious uh woman mm. more more in control more um like she know what she wants she know what she's doing and you cannot control her <laughs> so basically she but she also don't want to be like um she's not the type like to be in your face mm. she's more of uh, her character is more of a you know like she doesn't retreat from a challenge mm. but she doesn't want to be the center stage she mm. just she's more of a settle type of fight um more calculated and Control. more yeah 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 again the short hair long hair <laughs> Uh, or the tied hair. The short hair. The short this hair. This one I like the short hair. Yeah, me too. I like the short hair better. Her name is Mori Kaleope. Kaleope from uh, Greek, and you know, oh. and then Mori. Uh, in Japanese, it's forest. It means forest. Mm -hmm. But in Italian or in Latin, Mori. In French, morir, uh, mm -hmm. death. So oh. I think they were all since her name Kaleope is Greek. They're probably uh taking that from. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I mean about eh, it's not really a Japanese name. This one. Oh, this one. She more look like Jolly. Mm, yeah, yeah. Jolly, but explosive. Jolly B. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she more look like bubbly, mm -hmm. Jolly type of character. Um, yeah, I I would call her uh, uh Jolly. Oh, so. Uh, what do you call this? Or she's uh, based from a, a bird. Oh. She's a apparently she's a phoenix, oh. but people keep calling her chicken, and she doesn't like that, and it's a recurring joke. And <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's she, you're naming her Jolly. Yes. You like her uh, tied down hair? Makes her look younger. Or... No, I prefer no. the other one. The other one, that the original one. one yeah. yeah. Okay. So her name is Takanashi Kiara. This is what I mean. Like they borrow, Kiara. yeah, Kiara. They borrow Japanese and then they do like mm, uh, they twisting, yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, since she's a phoenix, uh, when she dies, she she's gonna reborn. She, she, reborn. she gets reborn. Yeah, and uh, she's actually her and the uh, uh, Mori, which was goddess of death. What do you what do you think their relationship would be? Um, their dynamic. The reserve and the jolly. Um, I don't know. It's hard to imagine. They're very opposite. Yeah. They're, you know, I mean, everything is very opposite between the two of them. This one wants to be noticed right away in a room. Mm -hmm. She wants to be, um, you know, she's not like she's an attention seeker, but she likes attention. Mm. Uh, but the other one, like I said, it's not, you know, it, she's more subtle in her approach. So uh, she's this one. It's not like she's careless, but I guess because she will be reborn anyway. So she <laughs> could just blow well, everybody when she feels like it or yeah. I'm going to be alive again. Yeah. So. <laughs> She's yeah. more um explosive. Yeah, in you're terms of fight. Yeah, you're you're actually right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, what do you think of the the outfit? Yeah, I think I the the outfit. Not that I'm I don't agree with her outfit. I just don't think that the outfit fits uh her like the phoenix type because mm. the outfit more look like the what's those uh, robot oh. show before like uh gunnam Gun you know Gun, those yeah. whatever um, but yeah i, do see I, I that. think maybe uh, because of the weapon yeah it's the weapon I yeah mean. i think it, it's distracting you <laughs> yeah uh, apparently she owns a um a certain uh food oh uh, uh, yeah like uh that's why i was restaurant jolly bee <laughs> oh. yeah <laughs> and because she's getting uh cold chicken yeah. uh, her fans she calls them chicken and when she gets you know, so she, she likes fire, so that's why Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because Phoenix is like fire. Yeah. Okay. So next is this one. Oh. Don't distract uh, the. <laughs> don't get distracted by the. <laughs> this this one. one 
Yeah, she's cute. Uh, I don't know. How old is she? Nine thousand. Oh, I thought that she's like a little girl. She's nine thousand years old. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, she's she... cute, but like you can't touch her because she's gonna bite, you know. <laughs> like, oh, she's you, you can't really can you, make fun of her. Can you guess what she's based from? Oh, a creature, a shark, a, yes, shark. Yeah, that does um, uh, comes up instantly. I would probably call her Ocean. Oh, okay. I thought you would say Sharky. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, because she's more than that. She's okay. not just a representation of the shark. She mm -hmm. is holding a, a titan, so oh, she's yeah, not just a shark. She have other than okay. Okay, so, so ocean. ocean, ocean. It's Gargura. Oh, I don't know where that's from, but yeah. You know. Can you try say Gar Gargura? You're Gargura. Saying, yeah, you're saying it right. Yeah, this is one. Next one. Okay, this one. Ooh. Um. Okay, so I'll give you this. Uh, her name is mostly English. Oh. English. Yeah. Diane. <laughs> <laughs> you have any uh, comments or? Yeah, she look like ins Inspector Gadget. Okay, I, I, I've given you enough, like, English and Inspector. Um, what could be her name? Oh, she looks so different. From the other group? Yeah. From the, based on the English? Uh, no. The... Yeah, she more, because, I mean, the way she's dressed is just, um, It's like a mix of European yeah, yeah, yeah. type, uh, refined princess. Uh, so it's so hard to come up with a name. So the um, end. I don't know. I guess it reminds me of Princess Diana because <laughs> she's wearing a crown. So yeah. So her Let's name. Let's just call her Diane. Diane. Her name is Amelia Watson. Oh. From Sherlock Holmes, like Watson. Okay. So, yeah, she's uh, she's a detective. Yeah. In a sense, yeah. You were oh, you're I right could about have called that. her Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You which one do you like the? Agatha Christie. She has, she has a short hair, but she has also like little long hair and the tied hair. Which one? Uh, the short hair. This uh, just the original. Yeah. The original. It's her real, yeah. So the animations you're seeing uh, is made by Wolfie. I just have to mention because um, I. I mean, uh, it's theirs, but I just need to give credits. So yeah, they, he gives like he draws them mm -hmm. a lot. And, okay. Yeah, so there's another version. Yeah. What should I call her? Yeah. Um, or what do you think? Uh, her name like, is stuff like that. Um. Hmm. What could be her name? English name. Um. Yeah, English name. Yeah. I don't know. The only thing that uh, come up in my head is Samantha. Oh, Samantha. What do you think about her uh, outfit? And... Um, she's she, I. She looks like an assassin. Uh huh. She Samantha the assassin. Yeah. So, she looks like an assassin, and she she's friendly. She have friends. She's mm -hmm. more. She's more of like uh, I think it's she's more like um, she doesn't like fight. Mm -hmm. I think she's more of a homey person. Mm -hmm. Or her character that I see looks like that, but she's not gonna say no for a fight if mm -hmm. she's being threatened. Yeah, she's very protective of her um, friend. Like yeah, like family, yeah. friends, like her circle, mm -hmm. her life. Like she's very protective of people that she loves. Okay. So her name is mostly in Japanese. Oh. It's Nanashi Mume. Nanashi means nameless. Mm -hmm. And that's because uh, part of her uh, identity is that she forgets a lot. That's why her age, is, she doesn't know. <laughs> so whenever she starts streaming and people are like, oh, what did you do? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah.
uh, which um, no, oh yeah, she, she just said that she forgot because she's protecting her identity <laughs> and protecting her family. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So the this group, I'm only showing two of them. There's five of them. Uh, they're mm -hmm. based on a concept. Uh, so I can give you the concept, the five concepts that they were basing on, and mm -hmm. I'll, you can guess. So there's time, space, nature, chaos, and mm. uh, civilization. So which concept would you think she's like in her design? Her? Yeah. Uh, nature. Nature? Yeah. No. Can you guess again? Um, what was it? Time. Space. Space. Chaos. Chaos. Since she's out of the ship. So nature and civilization and civilization yeah if she's trying to protect something what, what would it be civilization yeah you're correct yeah uh it doesn't i guess it doesn't show that much but you know the... well i think i choose nature because at first i saw the feather so i'm like okay yeah, so she's sure. representing uh like you know animal kingdom type oh style. Okay, okay i see i see that now and uh, she's based off a bird. Can you guess uh, what the bird would it be? I know I said I just guessed the name, but I'm giving you a falcon. A falcon. Mm. She's uh, based from an owl. Ah, uh, a barn owl, apparently. Yeah. And the next one, so, the last one. So what based on what nature? What was it again? Civilization. Yeah, I I think you can guess this easily. Ah. Uh universe what is this no it was a space oh uh, space time oh space time chaos civilization and nature so which concept would she be chaos no no not chaos time yeah <laughs> if it's there uh, if it's there in her head <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> i didn't realize yeah. okay so she would be named uh -huh. I can give you a clue. Uh, it's awfully based on Greek, like one one of her names because they have two names. So one of her names is based on Greek. Uh, I don't know any Greek. Oh, you forgot Althea. What? Althea. Althea. You're... Isn't that a Greek? Girl? No, but you can. Uh... That's a nice name, Althea. Um. No, now I'm thinking too much. I'm thinking. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'll just call her Althea. Yeah, Althea. Uh, so. What do you think about her? <laughs> um, <laughs> she She's like portraying two different character, And they're two very opposite characters. Because the other one that I'm seeing, she's so. Traditional? Yeah. She's... That's uh, because in every January, they have like a kimono traditional oh, outfit okay. for them. So, yeah. So she, they're the one who will choose their outfit. No, or it's their maker. Yeah, the, it's their maker. so uh, how it works is that they have an artist who mm. draws, uh, and then they have to get this assigned. Okay. Uh, the people who, uh, you know, think of it as a costume. Yeah, the people who gets in uh, don't get to decide how they look like. So, and it's up to them if they wanna mm. pretend to be that character that they're fitting in, or they just wanna be yeah, themselves. Yeah. So yeah. So it's all imaginary or whatever. Yeah. So how she's how what she is she is uh, well she's a, I guess because she's the queen of time or princess of time. She's or, a warden of time. She's a warden of time, so she doesn't want her time to be wasted. You know, like if Ooh. she's gonna fight, like I don't really don't waste my time. Oh, yes. I have other important things to do because she's a timekeeper. Yeah. Actually, it's so hard for her because um, whenever she has to do something, people get like, you're late. And every time she, people, yeah. So her name is Auroro Crony. You said Althea, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Crony being Kronos. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, this was uh, people, the, the, <laughs> the thing on her head, people kept uh, bullying her like the same way. It's mm. more like fun and games since, you know, they didn't design this, but people call her Crony Copter. Ah, uh, <laughs> doesn't look like that. Yeah, well, yeah, and you would think like because you saw how the uh, Corone, the the dog, oh, playing yeah. Mario, yeah, uh, you'd think that that would be like really distracting because it would be covering the screen. But she can, you know, she can turn it off like here. And you mm. don't see it. So yeah, and this are. Can you guess what this are? It's her weapon, or it's like a key. Yeah, it's a to, weapon, uh, and at the same time a key. To, that's, that's to time travel or something? No, it's um, 
it's a uh, hand like from the watch. Oh. You know, like you're thinking okay, digital yeah, yeah, watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> see, you see that? Yeah. But yeah. that's interesting. You think that's a key. Okay, next is these are from a different group now. They're not mm-hmm. uh they're not presented as idols. They just stream. Um but they can choose mm-hmm. to present themselves as an idol. Uh yeah. so yeah. Yeah. So I will probably call her Shadow. Shadow. Ooh, that's nice. So uh what do you think about her? Well, I think she's she likes to hide. She likes to scare people. <laughs> Uh, in a fun way yeah uh she she's a cat yeah, yeah she likes to she just wants to have fun mm-hmm. like you know she's not taking things seriously sometimes even yeah. if they're in a situation where things should be serious but she she's careless mm. and yeah you know, like i said she just you know like she's like a shadow she likes to scare people she likes to hide she's not very um she's not very engaging of what's happening in her surrounding she's careless so what did you give her name again shadow shadow yeah uh what do you think her profession is or like uh like what her costume is in in halloween is what i'm trying to ask my my wording is so cool. oh it's like the... the the hat what is this oh it's like the harry potter hat yeah she's a witch yeah Oh. So shadow, it, it actually fits in because you know, but she's a witch. Her, yeah, she's a witch. But her name is Millie Parfait. Oh, which like is uh, yeah, I don't know if Millie Parfait is a witch. Like the name itself, it sounds like. But yeah, mm. uh, apparently she's a Filipino. Oh, but she's it, again she's in a different group. So mm. uh, I I like to I like to just mention this, but it becomes a joke at some mm. point. Because when they go out and introduce themselves, mm. they they mention their backstory, like mm-hmm. in a you know in a anime sense, yeah. and she's using the Filipino as saying that I came from the underworld. Oh, <laughs> this is the underworld language. But you know, everyone knew and everyone sees it as a joke, and I, I just like it <laughs> because you know we don't get that much represented. <laughs> so yeah. So next is this is her friend, her best friend. Mm. and another bird base but uh yeah so you don't need to guess what bird it is because i don't even know what bird it just says blue bird so <laughs> what do you think her name would be oh this is um what would be her name maya Ooh, maya what do you think about her outfit her outfit um so i guess she can fly because she have wings um i think that she's lazy mm-hmm. i don't know why you think that way but i mean she flies so if she flies she doesn't like to walk i think that's why you... <laughs> I mean, no, I I... <laughs> um she's just... like if somebody if they are on a fight she's probably you know can i sleep 10 minutes more before i start the fight <laughs> So, um, but, um, when she's in the mood to fight, then she fight, but mm-hmm. it's like, you know, she's just lazy, but her outfit, her hair, it's very, um, it's too much, like too much going on. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, I, I don't really know what, uh, some of it are those weapon behind her. It's too you know distracting. how the how does she move or it yeah she know. does have you know she can take off most of these accessories and as you can okay. see like, so it's not covering <laughs> this yeah. So, yeah okay so uh, that's it maya yeah maya maya that's uh, interesting because you know maya as a bird <laughs> she's uh, small so her name is enna alouette. alouette yeah enna, enna alouette. alouette so they say she's she introduces herself as a uh angel mm. of some sort and that's why probably she has like a lot of wings going on there but mm. i'm not so sure about the angel because uh she also like swears a lot so mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what i mean like the, the other group were idols so they don't swear that much but mm. you know some of them still do and in this group they're more like uh we do whatever we want kind of mm-hmm. thing so yeah 
Uh, next is this is the last one. So this one, you think? Mm. What would be his name? Yeah. Um. He's a mafia boss, him? apparently. I think I would call him Jones. Jones. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, do you think he he would fit in the same universe as the other guy that we watched? And we we you guess, like they would fit in the same place. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm calling him Jones because he, he like he like he wants to hide at a certain name that it's so common. You know, can <laughs> oh, yeah. find him. John John Doe. <laughs> yeah, just like okay, who's the guy? Uh, you know, Jones, John, mm. and like everybody in the room's named John. So which John? Well, yeah. you go figure it out. So yeah. he's. Uh, you know he's he's also like one moment he's there and next moment he's not there so he's very elusive i guess mm -hmm. i he's, think that's because of the the hat yeah yeah he's he very be. elusive and he wants to i i think in he the way he looks he likes to work alone mm -hmm. he doesn't want a partner or he's very um pride like his pride like you know i can manage this by myself i don't want partner for him having somebody partner him with what he wants to to do or fight is like a distraction yeah you think so. he looks like a girl or in some um, you know, in this I, picture i think that whatever it takes for him to accomplish what he wants because he's more of a single-minded fighter so he would do anything so he could be you know dressing up as a girl as long as he <laughs> accomplish what he wants that's, that's interesting so his name is you said jones right yeah his name is luca Can i know <laughs> it's just like a uh -huh. left field uh they the three last people i, sh I showed you they're english and they speak english in their stream mm -hmm. uh, but they have somehow like weird name convention yeah this one uh, i think he's based more of like a japanese mafia boss or something mm -hmm. what's uh, why i put him here is and then why i ask that question because he mm -hmm. can do female voice and male voice oh okay that's why and he uses that as a sometimes people would ask oh where's your sister oh. and then he pretends to be his sister oh. <laughs> so it's like there's two person but it's only just him mm. in the room <laughs> but yeah that takes talent in a sense so that's it thank you for your time okay i'll have You're to welcome. edit uh, the video and stuff so tell me what they think about having a description <laughs> if i read it right thank you